There is a youth movement going on in D.C. and folks that have followed the Nats and even folks that just consume the league big picture know about some of the talent that they've amassed in some big trades over the past couple of years. And the guy presiding over this really interesting group of talent as their manager Dave Martinez joins us here on the stove. Good to see you, man. Home game for you, dude. This is it right here. I love it. How long have you been hour, in Nashville? Hour 40 minutes. I've been here uh, six years. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, so it's awesome. A little quick drive. Yeah. I mean, it's got to be exciting to wake up and just come and do this and go home and not have to spend the night in a hotel this yeah, time. Just so here. you guys know, I did have my cowboy boots on, but they told me I had a hike today, so I just went with the tennis <laughs> shoes. <laughs> can, we, can we pay off the story before we get to the Nats? And I want to talk about those young players I, because Harold was just asking about the story, too. You get called up to make your major league debut. You're a young cub. You finally get that call from AAA, and what happened? Uh, we, I, we get there, it was uh, me and Jamie Moyer, and uh, we get called up. Uh, we're getting ready to go in the clubhouse, and they tell us to sit outside, um, that they had, a, they had a meeting going on. Uh, so we sat outside, you know, thinking, man, it's going to be 10, 15 minutes. And it was an hour and a half. So we sat on them bags, and I looked at Jamie, I said, hey, I don't think they want us here. I said, hey, we might be going back to, uh, might be going back to Des Moines. And uh, finally they come out, and um, they told me they just had fired the manager. You know, and I was like, wow. <laughs> the day yeah. he gets wow. there. Yeah. So some of those stories, wow. I mean, you spent such a long time as a player. You've been managing a long time now. You spent many years as a coach. All those experiences have to kind of make you the guy you are with young players, right? I know young players have loved playing for you. Were your experience as a player important in shaping how you manage young players now as a skipper? A absolutely. And it, it also, too, you know, the, 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 the managers I played for, you know, they all they all taught me a lot of different things. Um, you know, I, I can go down with you know starting with Bobby Cox, uh, you know, Fagosi. I had some unbelievable ones. You know, I had Jim Fry for a little bit, uh, Stick, you know, Gene Michaels, uh, yeah. Lou Pinella. I mean, those guys really taught me a lot about the game and how to how, how to perceive the game. But um, I learned a lot by by just players. You know, hanging out with players, yeah. uh, talking to players. You know, when I was young, you know, talked to a lot of veteran guys. As I got older, you know, I kind of Embrace the younger guys and say, hey, look, you know, this is fun, but it's a lot of work, you know, and, and you, when you put the work in, uh, you're going to reap the benefits. And it's kind of how I teach these guys, you know, hey, not every two guys are the same, as we all know. So, uh, you know, they all got different motives. They all got, you know, they think differently. So you got to figure out what works for each individual and, um, and get after it with them, you know. So it's, uh, for me, it's been a blessing. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, I enjoy it. You know, I, don't get me wrong. I love the veteran players, but uh, I enjoy my knuckleheads a lot, man. They're a lot of fun. <laughs> and, and they end up being knuckleheads a lot, too. I want to ask you this, though, on the same vein. You were a coach as well before you were a manager. And one of the things I, I, I've noticed with you through the years as a manager, you let your coaches coach. How, how long was did it take or how difficult was that to be able to be like, okay, I'm going to trust you to do your job instead of feeling like you need to step in? How, how hard was that and how, when you, did you learn that? You know, you, you want to be hands-on. You know, I, I'm definitely hands-on with the players. Um, but I'm not going to tell my coaches, you know, what to do. You know, we have meetings every day. Um, but I want, them to, I want them to experience what I experienced as, as a coach because I had Joe. You know, Joe, Joe used to always tell me, uh, hey, you be you. I'm not going to tell you how to coach. You know, you know how to coach. You've, you've done everything in this game that you could possibly imagine. Just go out there and you be you. And, and that's the way I want these guys to be. You know, I don't. Uh, we're not. We don't have any puppets here. You know, these guys. Hey, just go out there, coach. And if I see something that we need to work on or we need to do, you know, we'll have a conversation about it. But you know, the, I want you guys to be hands on. There's a difference, I guess, Dave. Getting back to the Nationals between, um, I guess, playing the long game and waiting for your prospects to hit and then supplementing that group with players that you can find at the winter meetings, right? And, and we were talking uh, during a break about the deal that brought Lane Thomas over to you guys, uh, turned into one of your bigger players last year. A guy like Joey Manessas, veteran guy who you take a flyer on, who turns into a, a good performer for you. W what's that balance look like this year? Where are you looking to supplement the young guys with some veteran help? Yeah, you know, we, we, we definitely need, you know, uh, some pieces uh, and we'll, we're looking. Um, as you guys know, um, we're loaded with, with unbelievable talent, young guys, um, but they still got to marinate a little bit. Um, but, you know, we're, we're definitely going to look. You know, we, could, we probably could use another starting pitcher, uh, definitely uh, a corner guy, a third base, and a outf another outfielder, a left field with some juice. So, um, but, you know, hey, I work, with, I work with one of the best uh, GMs and presidents in the game. 
uh, Riz. He doesn't like losing, as we all know. Um, so we're, we're going to be searching, and uh, you know, we're going to figure out a way how to do this. You know, the first one, first name up there, Josiah Gray. This is really, when I look at the Nationals, where you guys are right now. That's what I look at. He got beat up a couple years ago. I mean, like, what are they doing? You can still run this kid out there? And then last year he turns around and has an all-star season. Is that kind of what, what you're seeing with your club being able to develop? And tell me a little bit about Josiah. Yeah, Josiah is uh, unbelievable. I mean, the guy works harder than anybody we have. I mean, he's, uh, he's an incredible kid. Um, he puts the time in. Um, and he's a competitor. He's a, he's a huge competitor, and that's what so, I love so about how, him. How hard was it to see him get beat up? But you have to know him, right, to understand that he can handle it? Absolutely. I mean, um, but, you know, it's, look, I always start with these guys when they, you know, I hit 139 my first year in the big leagues, and I did pretty good, yeah. you know. Um, I, I stayed around for a long time, so uh, not, yeah. this is not easy. You know, it's, you're going to have some rough moments. Uh, we're going to step back. We're going to learn from it. And um, and you're going to get better. And uh, that's what he did. You know, and, but the credit goes to him because he put the work. Yeah, 139. How's Davey yeah. Martinez? And he, and he played 30. in the big leagues for 15 years. Uh, the man can rake. <laughs> Something. Uh, Flat out. I got to ask you about, about that moment during the season, that night where you had a disagreement with a particular call. And we talked about this going to break. <laughs> and then you come out with the photo the next day. We got some video to roll here. I want to know how the players reacted to this when you when you were run like okay so here it is like you're holding up the photographic evidence of the horrible call June 14th in a presser. Oh God! Your players must have loved this first of all. Yeah, um, they appreciate it very much. <laughs> you, uh, you know, hey, you were so, hot, huh? Sometimes the player comes out of me. You know, it really does. I mean, you know, you're in the game, you, you know, and these things happen and. Um, it's, you know, I just lose my mind. I ain't going to lie to you. I just lose my mind. <laughs> so what was the conversation like with guys after that? Players, were they laughing? Were they, you know, your coaches? Who, who did you, um, after the after the thing on camera, who were you the first, was yeah, the first yeah, to talk to? Of course, the coaches came in there, and they were like, man, that's you're incredible. And I was like, well, I don't know if I'm incredible, but. I wasn't wrong. I'm also I'm also <laughs> going to be I'm fine. Be, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get in trouble. So which yeah. which one of your kids said, "Dad, come on now, what are you doing, Dad? You oh, know I, you got that kid." I, I get the emojis, you know, like all kinds of emojis, you know, like. Hey. But they weren't the only one. I mean, it's like I said, it's just the, you know the heat of the moment. It gets to me sometimes, and um, I'm I'm pretty laid back, as you guys know. Uh, but when something like that, you know, happens, man, you know, and we're about we battle. I don't know if we battle back to come back in that game and. Uh, to lose a game like that was was, was heartbreaking. You, you know, the thing's interesting, too, is that with with replay, there's not a lot of opportunities to argue. And and has that changed the game as far as arg the argument is the art of the game, I think, in a sense. So how has that changed? When do you know when you can or can't argue? Yeah, you just you, you look for me. It's all about, you know, like I said, you, you're, you're engaged, you're in the game, you know, you're watching how things transpire and all of a sudden things get out of hand. You're starting to see, you know, bad calls after bad calls. And then, you know, I just, you know, I got to defend my players. And <laughs> yeah, this is Lou Piniella inspired type snappy uh, stuff, man. This is good. Oh God. <laughs> you got a lot of nerve. You know you're gone. So what, you what, out, what happens when you get into these histrionics the next time you have that crew and you come out with the lineup card? Do you send someone else out with the card because it's yeah, the crew? Yeah, that, we, we pick guys to go out there. But look, I always, you know, when I do my press conference at, at the end of the game, I love umpires. I really do. I mean, I've been around some some unbelievable guys for a lot of a lot of years. Um, they're they're a big part of the game. I really believe that. So, um, and you know, I think most of them get it. Hey, you look, we're trying to compete. You know, I'm going to stick up for my players. I'm going to stick up for what's right. Um, and uh, and things sometimes get you know get a little little out of hand. I know I know they're doing everything they can to get the call right, um, but that's part of the game. So last thing, I'm bring back to your team real quick, and not just end with Davey Martinez arguments. Uh, I, want, I want to ask you about C.J. Abrams um, and some of your other young players, Mackenzie Gore, their upside, and how important was that Soto trade? Oh, it was. It was uh, look, I'm a big Soto fan, as you guys know. I love the kid. Um, you know, he's done unbelievable in his, you know, in his young career. Uh, but we got some pretty good players for him um, at that particular moment. You know, we felt like, hey, we need to make this deal in order to get better and get better real quick. Uh, and you can see the be the benefits uh, with CJ. Had James Woods in the Futures game. Lord have mercy. Hey, he's going to be a good one. You know, and a very good kid. Love him. Quiet. Um, plays the game. You know, plays the game the right way. Mackenzie's 
McKenzie's uh, you know unbelievable, and he's going to be he's going to be special. He really is. His stuff is electric. Um, you know, so uh, you know I love having these guys. You know, CJ, you saw a glimpse of what really he can do. Um, you know, towards the end of the year last year, he really put it together. But his defense got so much better. Um, so you know he's going to be a good one as well. But you know, we like you said, we got Woods. We got you know we got uh, Robert Hassel. You know, down there, we got we got a bunch of guys coming up that's going to really help us. Davey, Dude, good straight. to see you, man. Uh, happy holidays to you, your fam. Enjoy. Thanks you for too. taking some you time too, with guys. us, dude. Appreciate Way to go. you guys. All right.